evening, Mr. Stevens. Good evening, Joe. How's that rheumatism? Miss Rose Powell's a man. I, I expect I ain't gonna get no better without going back down to Kentucky. Miss the sun. Oh, yes. I miss your cousin and old Master Rowan. All oh, rest of the folks. Someday I'm going on back down there. But tend to your singing, son. Tend to your singing. Uh, Mr. Stevens, how come you to waste so much time down here without the poor folks? Oh, uh, I'm trying to steal us all. Out of your hearts. Well, maybe this old congregation of mine has got a song in their heart. But they sure ain't got nothing in their pocketbooks. <laughs> <laughs> I never did see <laughs> such people that. No, no, I didn't mean nothing like that, Mr. Steve. No, sir. That's all right. I owe you a lot more. Oh, thank you. Thank you. You, you figuring on writing some more songs? Mm -hmm. Sometime I'm going to write one about you. About me? No, yeah. Lord. Lord. <laughs> Mr. Stephen, that'd be most elegant, yes, sir. Excuse me, folks, excuse me. Anything special that you'd like to hear? Didn't my Lord deliver that? That's a good one. Yeah. Yes, sir. <laughs> Didn't my Lord deliver Daniel, deliver Daniel, deliver Daniel. I knew just where I'd find you. <laughs> you waiting supper at least a half an hour. Oh, I'm sorry, Lars, and I didn't notice the lake. Well, that's fit to be tied. If I were you, I wouldn't let on that I'd been down here again, listening to things. Wait. Wait a minute. What's wrong? An no idea. Yeah, well, Dad's got one, too, and if you take my but advice... I've got to get to a piano. Tell Mother I'll be right along, will you? But, but Steve... Not, not, not so fast. One, two, one, two, two. Oh, go ahead with the artist again. Wait, wait. Stop, please. Oh, you know, <laughs> darling, when you, when you do these things, it, it, it makes indignant in my ears. Off tempo, off notes, off everything. Liebchen, I'm, I'm sorry, but I, I, do, I don't think Mozart ever wrote this for you. Oh, if you don't mind, I'd like to keep on trying. You see, Stevie likes this piece. So you, <laughs> you want to please Stevie, huh? <laughs> oh, Professor Cleaver, do you think he'll ever make a living from his music? Uh, what's the difference? He's got his soul. A great gift for melody. Oh, but father says he isn't practical. Yeah. Mark's next house. A genius don't got to be practical. <laughs> Good evening, my boy. Oh, Stevie, I didn't know. What? <laughs> That's all right. That's a nice little thing. But you can do better. <laughs> no, no, don't, uh, please, don't misunderstand me. It's, it's very good. Mm. It's wonderful. Yeah. <laughs> Not so hard to play as Mozart, either. That's the idea, Professor. Easy to pick up. It might become popular. <laughs> popular, yeah. <laughs> For a day, a month, a year, maybe. But, Stephen, you got music in you that didn't come out yet. Rhythmic emotion. Pathos. That's what you want to cultivate. Maybe someday you'll write something that, that'll live forever. Oh, forever's a long time, Professor. <laughs> well, we shall see what we shall see. Time will tell. And now, children, although, <laughs> although I can see that you both hate to have me go, <laughs> You know what I've been wondering? What? Whether it's me or my piano. Well, pianos are mighty scarce in this town. Stephen Foster, you're positively rude. Susan Pendlin, you're positively bewitching. How's that? You're improving. Uh -huh. <laughs> Ah, new dress. I like it in lavender. It's blue. 
like in blue. <laughs> That's it. Now, if I can only get a lyric. You might sell it? Mm. And if I did, I could buy you such lovely things. A parasol. Blue to match your lavender dress. <laughs> <laughs> that would be nice. <laughs> and all, all sorts of surprises. A little white cottage. The one that's always been waiting for you and for me. With hollyhocks and, and maybe some moonbeams, maybe. And fields of sunflowers that run all the way into the horizon. All that with just one song? I could write some more. And then you and I could be together always. Would you like that? Oh, yes, Stephen. Just you and I. <laughs> and the piano. By all means, the piano. <laughs>